Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's go over factor by grouping. And to begin with, you need four terms. And there are a couple steps, but I think once you see it worked out, it's really not that complicated. Uh, first, you're going to group the first two terms together and the last two terms together. And the second sign goes with the second group. Then you're going to find the GCF, greatest common factor of each group, and divide each group by the GCF. Then we're going to write the GCF out front of each set or group from step two. And then we're going to factor out a common binomial and write the remaining terms as the second factor. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, first we're going to group. Okay, and the second term is going to go with the second group. This really comes into play when you have negative examples, and that will be my second example. Then we're going to find the GCF of both of these, and I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, write it, um, make it a fraction. Okay, so let's get started. We don't have a constant, um, so we won't have that. We have x and x common, and this x is, remember, it's the lowest term is at the first power, so the GCF of the first group is x, and um, just a helpful hint, the GCF of uh, this group since it is positive, will also be positive. Again, this comes into play when you have a negative. Okay, so let's see what we have. Uh, we don't have a constant. We have b and b common, and they're first to the, both to the first power, so there we go. So now we have our GCFs. Next, we're going to write the GCF out front, and we're going to divide this. Basically, we're, using, we're factoring by using the GCF. So uh, this becomes x plus um, these x's cancel, so we have 8, okay, and then we're going to write the b out front, okay, and uh, the b's cancel, so we're left with x plus uh, these b's cancel, and we have 8, okay. Now, if you've done it correctly, these two binomials, or if you can factor using grouping, these will be the same, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to write um, this common binomial out front, okay? We're going to cancel them, and what is remaining, what is remaining is x plus b. So there is the first example factored out using grouping. Let's work another example. Okay, with this example, we have all kinds of things going on, so let's get started. Let's group, and remember, second sign goes with the second group. Okay, now we need to find the GCF of both of these. We have two constants, the GCF of 10 and 15 is 5. Uh, X's are common, and they're both cubed. Okay, remember, if they're not cubed, you go with the lowest uh, exponent. And that looks like that's the GCF of this group. Okay, now remember, the GCF of this group is going to be a negative number, okay? So, the, we have two constants. The GCF of 14 and 21 is 7. It's going to be negative 7. Uh, we have R's squared, and that looks like we have the GCF of that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to write the GCF out front, okay? And then we're going to divide through. So, 5 goes into uh, 10 two times. Okay, and then the x cubes become, uh, they cancel out, become 1. And then we have y. And then we have a negative. Uh, five, 5 goes into 15 three times. x is cancel, and we're left with a b. Okay, now we write the GCF out front, and notice how well we will at the end that uh, this will will factor out the negative. Seven uh, R goes seven goes into fourteen. Uh, that is two times because the negative and negative is a positive. The R squares cancel. That gives us a Y plus negative seven goes into twenty one. Excuse me, it is not plus. It is a negative. 3, R's cancel, B. Let's see if we've done it correctly. Yes, the two binomials match. Okay, 
we're going to write the matching binomial out front. Okay. Uh, you can cancel these to see what we have left. And then we have 5x cubed minus 7r squared. So this is um, what we have for factoring using grouping of this term. So um, in summary, real fast, remember we have four terms. We found the GCF of this group, GCF of this group. We divided through, but before that we wrote this out front. We divided, this gave us this group. We wrote this group out front. We divided, gave us this group. We had common binomials. We wrote it out front, and whatever is remaining, we placed it there. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.